It looked like there was a, a ton of energy today with Pat. So, you know, what was your assessment of just how things went today when, we, when they got a little juiced up and got to hit each other? I think, uh, I think the energy was good. I think obviously that's one thing that um, excites our, our players, but it's something that we challenge you know, our whole team with is, is physicality, something that we're going to be known for forever and ever on both sides of the ball is effort, attitude, and toughness, and I think that was something we challenged them with early, and I thought there was a great deal of it today in the uh, indoor. Blake, it's been three practices now. Your overall thoughts on the defense and the, the guys that you're working with now? And uh, I think overall, you know, um, I mean, we still have a ways to go. You know, there's a lot of a lot of good players that walked out of this this door here a couple months ago, and um, you know, I think we have great leadership on that side of the ball. But we still have to bring some guys up, and, and we're gonna we're gonna find 22 guys that can play at our standard, and, and we're still searching for that. But overall, I'm pleased with where they're at. I like their energy. Uh, like I said, I like their effort. I like their toughness, and uh, we can build off of those things. You know, we gotta we gotta continue to get in our playbooks. Continue to understand that the install is gonna keep coming. We're not gonna slow down, and it's their job to keep up. So we're gonna challenge them in that regard. But overall, I've been pleased. We've we heard so much about leadership on the offensive side with a guy like KJ Osborne. Who's really maybe taking that by the reins besides you know Pinkney and uh, you know Shaq. Shaq? Yeah, I mean those two obviously stand out. I think. Um, I think you're seeing some more maybe out of, out of um, you know, Pat Bethel, a guy that's been around here and played a lot of football. Um, he's kind of standing out from that standpoint. Scott Patchen's doing some good things from a leadership standpoint. And then Trajan Bandy, I think, has been uh, pretty vocal on the back end so far. So those three, those three have kind of stood out to, uh, to me individually. What have you seen from, from Scott Patchen? He's had a rough road of it, you know, injury-wise in the past. Well, yeah, and I, I would have never known that until you told me that. I've been really happy with him. He, uh, he plays the way you know the, the game is meant to be played. He knows his assignments. Um, he's really he's really done a great job. You know, we're three days into it, but I've been really really pleased with where he's at. How about Rousseau? Rousseau's been he, he's been really good. You know, he's a guy that I, I do know about his injury um, and coming back from that. Same thing though, you couldn't tell you couldn't tell by, by watching him out here today. But he's a guy that he, the good Lord blessed him in a, in a lot of ways, and he, he's he's got a lot of talent. It was funny your philosophy as far as you know depth chart this early in camp. I mean, should we take much away from who's lining up with the ones and twos right now, or how do you, how should we? Look no, at I think a lot of it came from you know Coach Diaz implemented some teams, and, and basically we have an accountability program. So I think early on, guys that were most accountable um, off the field and, and doing things right in the weight room and, and just in the program overall are going to get the first pop up. You know, we're going to reward. We're going to reward hard work before we reward talent. I think that's how you build a program. So early on, that's where it is, and, and uh, you know, it's their job to lose. Nesta Silvera is one of those real talented guys. Everybody looks at it and says, okay, maybe he could step into you know, Gerald Willis' shoes. What's your early impressions of him and, and his development? Um, he's, he's doing a good job out there. You know, he's a guy that I, I challenge on a daily basis. Um, we still got to continue to push him, but I think he's, he's responding very well. Um, I've been pleasantly surprised with him the first first three days, really, and then you know today in pads. But he's a guy that um, you know is playing with great effort and, and doing what we're asking him to do right now. Who else is stepping forward to tackle? Uh, like I said, you have Pat Bethel there. Um, you know, but overall, I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Just today is the first day in pads, so you know the first two days in shorts. Who knows? Um, especially at that position. So I can't really tell you until I watch the film, but. Um, you know, early on, John Ford's a guy. He's a big, massive body. He's got great explosion, great length. Uh, but we'll see after today's film and kind of see who's, who's taking the round, uh, reins. But I really like the competition in that room. I think they're going to make uh, each other better. You obviously got a lot of talent. Uh, Trajan Bandy, cornerback. Uh, but the other guys haven't played a whole lot uh, mm -hmm. besides him. Can you talk about the other guys at cornerback in the early present by the that group? I think they've all shown flashes. You have Al Blades, um, you have DJ Ivy, uh, Nigel Belfer. We're a little thin. You know, we've got a couple more guys obviously coming in the, in the summer that'll help us out. But um, same thing really is defensive tackle. It's an open competition. It's an open open competition across the board, but there's not a, those two positions, there's not a lot of guys that have played a lot of football. So everyone's kind of sta uh, staring at it at the face and, and going to see who's going to take it. And safety, uh, just Carter and, and, and Hall, those mm -hmm. two guys have yeah. big shoes to fill. Right. Uh, just your early impressions of those guys, and, and I know you've got probably an injury there too, Robert Mills. Who's, yeah, he's a little banged yeah. up. We held him out today for precautionary reasons, but uh, he showed some good things. And, and that's, I mean, those three positions on our defense are, are really questions we have to get answered this spring. But early on, um, you know, you can really see Amari. Uh, he really stands out to me from a 
you know, he, he, he's not a vocal guy by nature, but he's, he's been a lot more vocal on the field. And he's kind of a silent assassin from what I've seen early on. Been really impressed with him. And then, um, you know, Derek Smith's a little banged up. Robert Knowles is a little banged up. So we got to get healthy there, which I think next week we should, we should be full go on all those guys. But uh, overall, you know, it's two big shoes or four big shoes to fill. You know, when you talk about Red and you talk about Jaquan, both those guys on, on film were really good players and had had some time to spend around them here. They're around quite a bit. So we're going to miss those two from a leadership standpoint, but then also from a playmaker standpoint. So it'll be interesting to see what happens over the course of spring and fall camp. You mentioned the energy uh, early on in that practice, that big cane drill that we saw. Mm -hmm. How would you describe that? Uh, you know, it was the first time I guess they'd ever done something like that around here. So, so we had a coach Diaz had to get them, get them. He just had to get them motivated to, to get going a little bit. But once once they understood the expectation level, it was awesome. It was great energy, um, great enthusiasm on both sides of the ball. A lot of stalemates, a lot of toughness shown through the guys that were called out there. And it's fun, you know, when he calls out a couple kickers and quarterbacks too. So it was it was a good time overall. What are you noticing from? What are you noticing from the linebacker position outside of Shaq and Mike? Uh, we got a ways to go. I mean, not a lot of experience in there. And I was just talking to, to BJ and, and uh, Wayman, and then um, you know Darian Stevenson's doing some really good things too. But we got to get those guys up to speed. Um, the expectation level and the standards got to continue to rise for them. But uh, you know. I think they're they're talented. I think they want to do well. We just need to get them reps and get them in here a little more often and, and understanding what they have to do. Great. How Thank important, you. Last question for How important are moments like those and drills like those when you're trying to build the foundation of a team this oh, early in the process, the chemistry, the I think they're huge. I, I think I think more than anything, you know, there's a lot of guys maybe that you don't, you know, football is an er interesting sport where sometimes you, you could go a whole year and maybe someone doesn't get challenged from a physicality standpoint in front of their peers. And I think that's, you know, the number one deal we're getting out of it is you're getting called out there in front of, an, you know, with another man in front of your peers. So I think from that standpoint, it's awesome. But then also, like you just talked about, the energy, the excitement level, and it carried on uh, throughout practice. So I think, the, the, you know, I think that won't be the last time you see the big cane drill.